want to talk now about KVN Corona. And Keith joins us to tell us all about him. First of all, what is his story? So he's, uh, we, we bought the mare uh, out of uh, here at Heritage Place uh, and brought her home and bred her. Uh, we breed the Corona Cartel. Her first foal is another uh, stallion named Big Lou. Mm -hmm. um, and he went and, and won on the track. And this was the second colt we had. Uh, really, really liked him. We named him after a family friend, Kyle Van Noy, who now plays uh, for the New England Patriots. He was just a horse that from, you know, the day he was born, he was just a really balanced horse. We really thought you could do about anything you ever wanted to do on him. He's 16 hands. He's just a really balanced horse, and that's just kind of the way he was from the beginning. Brag a little bit on how well he has done on the track. He was an exceptional um, horse, and in the last, uh, in this century, I guess since 2000, there have only been three horses who were champion two-year-old colt and champion three-year-old colt. He's the third one, and he was the first one to do it in 11 years. So it's really hard to get a colt to run that early, mm -hmm. to stay sound. Uh, he never missed a day of training. He's as sound as they come. Uh, and he's just a, a super suit. Everyone that's around him is like he's about as professional and smart of a horse. You teach him something one time, he learns it. He does it over and over again just super consistent. So obviously speed, he's smart, has a lot of grit and right. try. Elaborate on the things that you think will make him such a great barrel racing sire. The the biggest thing is his mind. I mean if he if he can stamp that down into them. Uh, he was a horse that uh, I had some family members like man why is that jockey ride him harder and Ramon Sanchez rode him and Ramon's like, he's one of those rare horses that you know he's given it everything he has. You don't have to get after him. Mm. He, was just, he was just a horse who tried every time as hard as he could. Let's talk more about the pink buckle and your involvement and yeah. excitement about how it's advancing this whole industry. It looks to me like it's a, it's a grand success. And um, it's, you know, the ruby buckle, I like that idea too. Um, I don't know what they're going to do because I think there's more stallions that want to be in than, than slots. But the idea of giving, you know, so for so long, anything in sports has always been about the elite few. And, and in a spectator environment or something that's driven by advertising on television, you can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, in a non-spectator environment, it's about how do we bring the masses together to feel like they have a chance to truly compete. And it appears to me that that's what's happening out there.